Hi everyone, and welcome back to Storytime with me, Sammy. Now, today, I thought we'd do something quite fun. We're going to read a bit of a nonsense story about two men, Gimme the Axe and the Potato Face Man. And the Potato Face Man tells Gimme the Axe a story all about the Zigzag Railroad. This story is called How Gimme the Axe Found Out About the Zigzag Railroad. Shall we begin? How Gimme the Axe Found Out About the Zigzag Railroad Written by Carl Sandberg but edited by me, Sammy. One day, Gimme the Axe said to himself, Today I go to the post office and around. Looking around, maybe I will hear about something happening last night while I was sleeping. Maybe a policeman began laughing and fell in a toilet and came out with a wheelbarrow full of goldfish wearing new jewellery. How should I know? Maybe the man in the moon went down some cellar stairs to get a pitcher of buttermilk for the woman in the moon to drink it and stop crying. Maybe he fell down the stairs and broke the pitcher and laughed and picked up the broken pieces and said to himself, one, two, three, four. Accidents happen even in the best regulated families. How do I know? With his mind full of simple and refreshing thoughts, Gimme the Axe went out into the backyard and looked at the different necktie poppies growing in the garden. Then he picked one of the necktie poppies to wear for a necktie scarf, going downtown to the post office and around looking around. It's a good idea to look nice around looking around in a necktie scarf, said Gimme the Axe. It's a necktie with a picture, like white pony spots, on a green frog swimming in the moonshine. So he went downtown, and for the first time he saw the potato face man, playing the accordion on a corner next to the nearest post office. He asked the potato face man why the railroad tracks run zigzag in the rutabaga country. Long ago, said the potato face man, Long before the necktie poppies were growing in your backyard, long before there were necktie scarfs like yours with white pony spots on a green frog swimming in the moonshine. Back in the old days when they laid the rails for the railroad, they laid the rails straight. Then the zizzies came. The zizzy is a bug. He runs zigzag on zigzag legs, eats zigzag with zigzag teeth. He spit zigzag with a zigzag tongue. Millions of zizzies came hissing with little hisses on their heads and under their legs. They jumped on the rails with their zigzag legs and spit and twisted with their zigzag teeth and tongues till they twisted the whole railroad and all the rails and tracks into a zigzag railroad with a zigzag rail for the zigzag trains, the passenger trains and the freight trains all to run zigzag on. Then the zizzies crept away into the field where they sleep and cover themselves with zigzag blankets on special zigzag beds. Next day the shovel men came with their shovels, smooth engineers with smooth blueprints, and the water boys with water pails and water dippers for the shovel men to drink after shoveling the railroad street. And I nearly forgot to say, the steam and the hoist operating engineers came and began their steam hoist and operating to make the railroad straight. They worked hard, they made the railroad straight again, they looked at their job and they said to themselves and each other, this is it, we done it. The next morning, the zizzies opened their zigzag eyes and looked over to the railroad and the rails. When they saw the railroad all straight again, and the rails and ties and spikes and all that straight again, the zizzies didn't even eat breakfast that morning. They jumped out of their zigzag beds, jumped onto the rails with their zigzag legs, and spit and twisted till they spit and twisted all the rails and ties and spikes back to a zigzag, like the letter Z at the end of the alphabet. And after that, the zizzies went to breakfast, and they said to themselves and to each other, the same as the shovel men, the smooth engineers, and the steam hoist and operating engineers, this is it, we done it. So that's how it happened. It was the work of the zizzies, said Gimme the Axe. Yes, it was the zizzies, said the potato face man. This is the story told to me at least. Who told you? asked Gimme the Axe. Two little zizzies. They came to me one cold winter night and slept in my accordion. And where the music keeps them warm in the winter. In the morning I said, good morning zizzies. Did you have a good sleep last night and pleasant dreams? And after they had breakfast, they told me the story. And they told it in zigzag, but I learned the zigzag language long ago. The end. Well, wasn't that a strange story? Did you understand it? Because I didn't. 
Hmm, why don't you leave me a comment in the comment section below and tell me what you think that story was about. And if you enjoyed it, please remember to like, share and subscribe for more story times with Sammy! Bye guys!